Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of black, of pop culture. <laughs> that too. That too. I'm your auntie of the blackness. Yeah. Toya Charleston, <laughs> Chocolate Divinity, Latoya. Hey. No, we're not dumb black bitches. Somebody put that. No. Okay, I need to no. stop reading the, the Stop reading the, the comments. I know. Y'all about to get blocked. You keep playing. I know. Somebody did. Somebody. Now, racist. I want y'all y'all stay away. Mm -hmm. You don't like you don't like the black girl magic. You don't Ooh. like stop. Leave us alone. This ain't for you. Let us live. This ain't for you. Go to the country club. Yeah. This do, ain't for you. Do something. Go put raisins in mm -hmm. your potato salad. Yeah. Do something. Yeah. Well, the ones but, that, the ones that's doing this, they don't get access to the country club, so they mad. So yeah, they gotta come here yeah. spewing the hate. Yeah. Stop. stop don't it. Do that. Don't, don't do this. Don't do that. Okay. Because this black girl magic will snatch all, you up. All day. All day long. We got cousins, aunties, uncles, uncles brothers, fathers. Yes, we'll yes. come through. All day. <laughs> Let's get started with what's happening. Tamar Braxton, was she drunk on a recent flight from Minnesota? Her sister, Tawanda, filmed an altercation between the flight personnel, the pilot. Apparently, Tamar was sleepy. Mm. You know how you are when you're on a plane yeah. and you're sleepy. You put a blanket over your head. You don't want to be bothered. No. People are saying, well, was she drunk? Well, Tawanda filmed the whole entire altercation. Because she had a blanket? Because we don't know if it's true or... Could it be a publicity stunt yeah, for the Braxtons? Could be. They like to do that stuff. Yes, they do. Cardi B pulled out of yeah. the Bruno Mars upcoming show. She didn't realize that motherhood was real. Mm. And motherhood is very real. Yes, it is. Now, Bruno, very understanding. Yes, life happens. Mm -hmm. But it has caused a gaping hole in his tour, which wow. is kicking off in September. See, sets were made up. Mm. Costumes were designed. They were ready for Cardi's set. And now Ooh. they can't use any of it because Cardi won't be joining Bruno Mars on his opening act or as the opening act. And Bruno was understanding, yeah. but Cardi had to pull out. But yeah, as of this moment, Bruno Mars doesn't have an opening act mm. for his show. What was it really like in the White House with Amoroso? <laughs> We find out, y'all, because next month, Amarosa is releasing a book. Okay. She signed a seven-figure deal. Uh, she made headline Celebrity Apprentice. Her and Trump were like, they that. sure were. I mean, she was, he's the reason why we know Amarosa today. Exactly. So. He hired her to be some kind of African-American <laughs> ladies. Uh, it was some long title. Was... I don't even trust people with long titles no. anymore. No, nope. Because that means, what are you really they doing? They don't have a real job. You don't have a real job. <laughs> you got a real long title. Yep. Well, she clashed. She clashed mm -hmm. with, this is so real. This is real radio. This is, this, I this mean, is, this is real YouTube this radio is real life. YouTube. Okay, I'm going to call call you back. Yeah. I got to call you back. This is real. This is real. This is real. No, okay. no editing. We got, <laughs> we're giving y'all our lives. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like being in the Trump White House? We're about to find out. Amarosa is promising. Mm -hmm. Promises, promises, promises okay. to tell us all. Will she? You think mm. she'll be real honest? I don't know. If this ain't a page turner like Bobby Brown's book was, Amarosa, you're going to have to go that way. Bobby Brown's book was funny. Speaking of Bobby Brown, the Bobby Brown miniseries is coming on BET yes. in September. That Bobby, book. Bobby talked about having sex Ooh. with ghosts. Cooking with the cocaine. Cooking with the cocaine. <laughs> it was that. that was a page turner. Yes, it better be that. Nell B, former Spice Girl. America's Got Talent. Okay. A new survey came out. They said most people didn't really like her. Why? They just focus groups because she probably appears annoying. Aww. Anywho, Mel B is writing a book okay. entitled Brutally Honest. Mm -hmm. She's going to talk about, but let's just say, she'll probably be brutally honest about Spice Girls. Yes. Stephen Belafonte. Definitely. The husband. Mm -hmm. America's Got Talent. Yes. But she won't be honest or brutally honest or we ain't going to get a Nothing. about Eddie Murphy. Nope. She and Eddie Murphy were involved. They have a young daughter, mm -hmm. Angel. Uh, Eddie was acting kind of crazy. Yes. The judge had to tell him, take a DNA test. Mm -hmm. This kid is yours. Now you got to pay her. Mm -hmm. Now B had to sign a gag order that she can never, ever, ever talk about Eddie Ooh. Murphy. 
Mel B, if you go and write a book, you know we want to know about you, Eddie. You gotta give, give us a Patty Jackson what, breadcrumb. What, something. Give us something, something. Something. Without actually, you don't have to say his name. We'll know. Wait a minute. He never dated another black woman after Mel B. He damn sure didn't. He can't if you're black, you're British. Mel, what you do to him? What you do to Eddie? Oh. And he was really into her because he, he gave was. this interview and said, I love a woman who can make me laugh. Mm -hmm. She did more than that, y'all. Mm. She did more than that. Coming to a city near you, Stephanie Mills, Avery Sunshine, Yolanda hey. Adams, Yala yeah. Ann Vant, and MC Light. Okay. They're going on tour together. All They're right. doing a Sisters Unite tour that hopefully... Will come to our part of town yeah, in Philadelphia. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be good. If you're gonna go see Jay Z and Beyonce mm -hmm. on the run too, the North America mm -hmm. leg, they're doing all the new stuff yes. from the new album. They didn't get that in Europe. They didn't. And I also was confused. I was like, I don't know if I want to go if they're not going to perform the like no, the new they album. Are. They so. are performing the new album, but only in North America. Okay. Monique. Oh, child. Monique oh. is signing with Roseanne. Mm -hmm. Roseanne, you know, they got rid of the Roseanne show. Mm -hmm. It's now the Connors. Yes. She put the racist tweet out yeah. against Valerie Jarrett. Yeah. Senior advisor for President Obama. Mm -hmm. She apologized. Mm -hmm. Then she said that Valerie needs to get a new hairdo. Mm -hmm. It was a mess. A hot mess. But now Monique is saying that she stands with Roseanne because... Okay. Roseanne made a mistake. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. We made a mistake with you, Monique. Bye. Monique, we don't know if this is a publicity stunt. You want to get on with Roseanne to get a show. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go get it. But once Roseanne addressed this, then she she was still talking slick. Yes, First she, she was. went from Clan of the Apes to mm -hmm. I Thought the Bitch Was White to yep. She Needs a New Haircut. So it, she was apologizing, but it really wasn't an apology. Nope. And Monique, you're canceling Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey. Mm -hmm. But you give a pass to Roseanne? Yep. Rose, uh, Roseanne. Monique? See, I'm getting y'all confused. I'm thinking yes, you're the same yeah. person. Mm -hmm. You're getting in your own way. Bye, Monique. Mission Impossible Fallout, the latest installment of Mission Impossible, the best out of this whole franchise, oh. Tom Cruise, Angela Bassett, Ving Rhames, number one. Okay, yes, Tom! But Ving Rhames found out that even if you're in Mission Impossible, mm -hmm. you're still going to be living while black. <sighs> he was at his home. He's out in California. Mm -hmm. Ving Rhames is in Hollywood. We know him not only from Mission Impossible, but one of our favorite movies, Baby, Baby boy. boy. <laughs> what you want for breakfast? Yeah. You hungry? A little squat action? Yeah. <laughs> he was naked and we just can't get the <laughs> thing out of our mind. Mm -hmm. So Ving, the cops came to his house. There was a report of a big black man. That's a he walked outside of his house. He had guns drawn on him and everything. Then they realized, wait, <laughs> ain't you in that new Tigers movie? This is, I just want to know when is this going to stop. I know. When are these people who keep calling, but wasting the police officer's You're time? You're wasting going police to officer's fine. time. You really are wasting the police officer's time. You really are wasting the police officer's time. So um, it could happen anywhere in any city, and it could happen if you're rich and in Hollywood, because oh, yeah. it happened. Just a Ving, reminder, you black. <laughs> Ving Rhames, yup. Prayers out to Kanye West's dad, who is mm. battling prostate cancer. Lauren Hill is suing her cousin for $65,000. Um, she had to learn the hard way that money and family don't, don't mix. mix. Please listen mm -hmm. to us. Please believe this statement. Does not. Money and family. Just gift it. Do Just not gift expect it. it back. Don't expect it back. Just say, look, I'm giving you this money. All right. And don't ask me for nothing else. That's, exactly. That's what you get. Her cousin, um, it was a male cousin, asked her for $65,000. Mm. He stiffed her. She's suing him. And she also wants him to pay sure. her lawyer fees. Woo. Good luck with that. Yeah. Good luck. The Madam C.J. Walker story is coming to Netflix. <laughs> Oscar winner Octavia Spencer is going to star in an eight-part miniseries about Madam C.J. Walker, okay. who was the first black millionaire. Mm -hmm. yes, she, she revolutionized was. the hair care industry. And she was just the bomb, and no one really knows about her life. LeBron James. Yes. yes. 
the Lakers LeBron, yes. the basketball superstar LeBron. Yes, legendary. He, the legendary, yes. yes. He's going to be the executive mm -hmm. producer for this project. Yes, this, I'm so excited about this story. Me I too. cannot wait it's going to be drop. It is. And Shaquille O'Neal, get ready for a new chicken restaurant in okay. Las Vegas. Big Chicken Shack. Okay. He's getting his own <laughs> reality Hello show there, on Facebook. <laughs> and he's going to have people help him taste it, okay. decorate, and be involved in the whole process. And it launches in September. Right. I'm Patty Jackson. <laughs> I'm your auntie of pop culture. This is Latoya Charleston, okay. Chocolate Divinity. <laughs> we're not some dumb black bitches. No, we're not. So stop. Try it again, okay? Yeah, stop it. <laughs> You know what? I'm sick. I'm getting sick of y'all. <laughs> she said, "Patty, I would, but but I, I like to hear from people, and yes. and I do like to respond. Mm -hmm. But you, what you, what you, what what, what, what you're not going to do mm -hmm. is call us dumb black bitches. No, that's what's not going to happen. That's what's not going to happen because mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna call you out. You little keyboard gangster, yeah. probably sitting in the house with thirty cats, <laughs> stanking, <laughs> no job, welfare, <laughs> trifling." Bye. I like the way you said that. Stankin'. <laughs> Stankin'. Stankin'. YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel and let us know that you like it. Spread the word. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Yes. Well, we call this black bitch as a potato right now. Pull up then. No, 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 no. Who did that? Who did that? No, 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 no. They came back. No, 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 no. Not today. Not today. Or any day. Not today, Satan. Not, <laughs> Not today. today. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. We love to keep you updated with pop yes. culture and entertainment, Toya. You can. Oh, we out. We out. We out. We out. We told y'all this real. Yeah.